Hey y'all, this is A.L. Thick Madame. I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day. I'm not, but I'm just trying to throw this video at y'all real quick because it's something that just came up out of nowhere. I'm not going to do any recaps today. I haven't watched um, the shows that come on Tuesday. You know, at least one in particular. So I'm just not in the right headspace to really recap that and really want to sit there and retain the information and I just don't feel like I'll be able to come off the way that I want to come off even though I am still nervous and all that whenever I do get on camera but anyway that's not what this video is about this video is about something that just happened which is um I don't know if y'all heard but apparently Tamar went on the Wendy Williams show and it aired I guess today and so um, on that particular show, Wendy Williams interviewed her and, um, basically she, she basically did the same stuff she always does as far as the questions that she asked her, nothing really like amazing. And it's like, girl, you keep inviting her back and you ask her the same exact questions. Like, no, anyway. So the one question that she did ask that I didn't feel was a problem, but other people did was you know what happened as far as her being on real as far as like you know would you actually go back to that show you know if the opportunity presented itself would you actually go back and be a host on that show again and from what I'm gathering I think that she said something to the effect of no I don't think I would because I don't want to be a marketing ploy for them and I guess she's trying to imply that that's what it was before which i I wholeheartedly agree with because once I saw she was going to be on the show, I was like, oh yeah, oh, I'm watching. Because despite all the things that Tamar has done and things we've seen, I, I've liked her. I've liked her since I first saw her and I've known of her existence since I was young and all that. But yeah, I said all that to say this. So... The Real came on after that. I don't know because I don't watch either show, to be honest. Since Tamar was gone, I would tune in every now and again because Tamar was on there. Or if I heard that certain things happened and she was on there, I would watch it. So anyway, The Real came on after the Wendy Williams show. And they immediately started off basically like, okay, so Tamar isn't on the show anymore. Keep in mind, this is what, three years after she was dismissed? So they didn't want to talk about it. They didn't want to talk about it. They didn't want to talk about it. And then all of a sudden today, they wanted to talk about it. They had time today. And I'm just like, all these years, people have been asking you, you know, what really happened. And in all honesty, we still didn't really get an answer. So it's like, what was the point? In a way, I just feel like the only thing that happened was everybody was just like, look, um, it wasn't my fault and I didn't do anything to get her fired. I never said anything to get her fired. It was unfortunate that she got fired, let go, whatever you want to call it. And um, I think one of them or a lot of them were like, you know, we might, you know, be out of a job soon just for even addressing this. You know, anybody can, you know, lose their job at any time. Nobody's safe. We just didn't know that this was happening. And I'm just looking like, I could have swore that when all this stuff first happened, everybody or I think Lonnie for sure um, knew about it happening before the, the episode that was going to be on where she wasn't going to be on there anymore. Meaning they told her, okay, you know, whatever the situation is as far as, okay, like, look, she's no longer going to be on this show. I heard that it was because they felt, um, not they, um, a sponsor of theirs dropped out or something. At least one sponsor dropped out because of her. And I'm just like, huh? I don't know. But, um. People normally flock to her. She has moments. She has a mouth on her. I'm not going to ever try to sit up here and make it seem like Tamar is a saint because she's not. She's done a lot of things that I do not agree with. But when it comes to making something pop, she made that show pop. 
because I feel like it was boring most of the time when she wasn't there. Yeah, Tamara's there and, you know, Lonnie trying to be funny and, you know, whatever, but nah. And old girl who's with Jeezy now, no. Um, <clears throat> I ain't really going to go into all that. But I said all that to say this. So after the interview happened with Wendy Williams, they got on their platform and they tried to discuss all this stuff that was going on. And so I see this on somebody's page that I'm subscribed to. So I'm talking, I said something, because some, one of the people who is subscribed to that person as well, they were like, who is she talking about the woman who Jeezy is with now? And so I said Jeezy's girlfriend, because they nobody know who she was before that show or um, what I said, at, until the reel was on or there. And to the fact that there are people who, even though the show was going on, they never even knew of her. Or if they've seen the show before, they forgot about who she was because they stopped watching it because Tamar wasn't on it anymore. For whatever reason, wasn't nobody checking for her like that. Like, I'm just saying. And I'm not trying to read her. I'm not trying to shade her because she did have a lot of things going on in her life. You know, she was well known amongst, I guess, like certain celebrities because she had high end uh, clients, so to speak. Because I think she was like a makeup artist and she actually has been on shows that were geared around mentoring people about makeup and stuff like that. And I think she's done something before where she, she'd appeared as a guest in some capacity on America's Next Top Model. I must not have seen that or I just, again, didn't know who she was. But yeah, um, a lot of people did not know who she was before the real. And I'm just like, why are you mad? that I stated that because that is a fact because when the news broke about Jeezy and her being a couple a lot of people were genuinely like okay but who is this who is she like and who is she like for real because I know that there are a lot of people who really do troll and they will go on posts and be like and who is this I don't understand who this is and they really do know who they are but they're trying to be funny but in this instance a lot of people were really like no really who is this because they'd never seen the show. They'd never heard of her before the show. They'd forgotten about her, I guess, because they felt like she was forgettable from the show. Even though when the news broke, I saw it. I was like, wait a minute. I had to double tape because I was like, the name and the face, that can't be who I think it is. That can't be her. And so I looked, I was like, what? That's random for them being together, but okay. Like, I didn't even care about them being together. It's like, okay. But somebody will get it out in the comments section and try to come at me sideways. Like, what are you talking about? Well, how do you know that nobody cared about her and all this other stuff? And I was like, because literally before the news broke about her being in a relationship with him, a lot of other people were like, who is this? Like, genuinely asked who this was. Then somebody, uh, some random person gonna come after this person, like, almost an hour after I responded to them and say, no, that's not true. People knew who she was. They just, they just call her this, and her name is really this. That's not her full name. And I was like, I'm fully aware of what her full, her real name is. I'm fully aware of what her whole name is. That's beside the point. The point is, a lot of people did not know who she was before this situation actually happened. That's just a fact. And I mean, like I said before, she's done things. She's been out there. She's done other things that weren't in the same vein as being a talk show host. But she's been out there and she's been exposed to celebrities and all that other stuff. So she's been in that, you know, that life. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't hurting for money. She'd been married and all that stuff. Like the only the only reason why some people even knew about her that haven't even seen any of the shows that she's been on or heard about her being a makeup artist or whatever was because she was trending because she'd gone through her divorce with whoever the man was she was just married to not too long ago. So yeah, I'm I'm just saying. 
Let's not be naive. Let's not act like we don't understand what's being said. Like, that's all I'm saying. Y'all let me know down in the comment section. If you knew of her before the reel, have you ever seen the reel? Did you ever care when you were watching the reel about who she was like that? Like, did you know about her, you know, in any capacity before all this stuff came about her being with Jeezy? Because... All I was saying was that nobody knew about her and nobody really cared like that. I'm just saying. Anyway, <laughs> y'all let me know down in the comment section if y'all understand what I'm saying. Do y'all agree with these other people? They're like, no, people knew who she was. It's just the name that they've been calling her. And just trying to, it's like there are people out there who just want to be against you because you're saying the truth. And they just don't want to hear you say it. They don't want to acknowledge it. And I'm just like, for this to be as small of a situation as it is, it's not that deep. Literally, a lot of people do not and did not know who she was before they made it public that they were an item. Anyway, y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think. I'm going to sit here and relax. I might tell y'all... um why my day was ugh. The, like the last 24 hours have been crazy for me because I'm just not in the mood to even watch Greenleaf, none of that stuff. Like I'm just not. So anyway, I hope y'all have a good one and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.